The title may be a touch misleading. I really don't view gold and silver much as an investment. Honestly, I see gold and silver as a form of savings outside of the dollar. Think about it this way. If you wanted to save and did not want to use the dollar bill as that vehicle, and you ended up using a different currency, that's exactly what I'm doing. But instead of a different currency, I'm using money, real money, physical precious metals. So when I say this is the best time to invest in gold and silver, what I actually mean is this is the best time to save your money outside of the dollar bill. Now, a lot of you might be thinking, wait a second, the dollar bill is strong right now. Why would I want to save my money outside of USD? And I think that's a great question, so let's look into this. The argument I'm going to present to you in this video is simple. Yes, at this moment the dollar is strong, and I would say that presents a great opportunity to get started in precious metals, or, if you are already a stacker, get your weight up. For all the intermediate and seasoned stackers, this may not be news, but for the beginners and individuals looking to start a stack, check this out. Mining physical precious metals like gold and silver requires a great cost. Labor, energy, transportation, manufacturing, and distribution all cost a lot of money. None of these things are cheap in today's world. With that being said, there is a base cost of these gold and silver products. If mining the metals did not make a profit, these mining companies would stop. My argument is, even though prices are low, I don't see them going much lower. And with gold and silver making headlines in a lot of news cycles, I can see the popularity of these metals growing. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to freeze that like button. Turn it blue for the YouTube algorithm so that more people have a chance to hear this message. It may be a small act for you guys, but it makes a huge difference for my small channel. So thank you for doing that. Lately, there have been a lot of financial buzzwords in the media. Words like inflation, deflation, recession, stagflation, digital dollar, quantitative easing, quantitative tightening, and loan forgiveness. It's enough to make your head spin, and most of the time it does not promote a lot of confidence. All I know is inflation has been climbing. Everyday things seem to be getting more and more expensive. Last month, I paid over $100 to fill my tank with gas. All of this while the dollar grows stronger? I'm not an economist, nor do I pretend to be one, but something does not seem to be right. As much as I want to believe in the strength of our dollar, and as important as I believe it is to have a sufficient savings, my strategy is to have a good backup plan. It is in my best interest for the dollar to be strong. I want the dollar to remain the reserve currency. Whether or not the dollar increases in strength or loses value is not the point I want to make in this video. This video is to stress the fact that from my perspective, gold and silver are both on sale, and I am very comfortable stacking both at these prices. In my opinion, this is the best time that we are going to get to invest in gold and silver. These are the three points that I want you guys to take home from this video. One, gold and silver require work, and each of the steps required to get gold and silver to your hands are expensive. Two, yes, USD is strong, which means precious metal prices are low. This is an excellent time for new stackers to get started. And three, nobody knows what's going to happen to the price of gold and silver, or dollars for that matter, so this is my plan. I plan on sticking to my precious metals budget and picking up what makes sense to me. I also plan on having a great time doing it. So if you want to see more silver content, Make sure to check out this video where I unbox 2 ounce werewolf coins from the Canadian Mint, and I'll see you there.